Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how you can not only fix your packet loss here in Fortnite chapter 3 season 3 but also overall a few steps which you can do on your Windows PC without any tools or anything to actually lower your ping in Fortnite and just to make sure that you have no additional latency and if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel by the way guys I'm also giving away right now a Vooting 2 HE which is the full size version of the Vooting 60% over on my Twitter guys so therefore make sure to check that one out as well and without any further ado Let's get this topic. And yeah guys, in the first place, I want to show you a super simple method on how you can check which programs on your PC or which processes actually take a lot of your network speed overall on your PC. And all you guys got to do is go into your Windows search bar and simply type in resource until you find the resource monitor. Open up this application and then should look first of all like this here that we have overview, CPU, memory, disk and network. And of course, what we want to take a look at is network. Let me just make this a little bit bigger here so we can see it better. And yeah, what this program pretty much does is now it shows you every single process which is on your PC. It might take a while until it loads like everything, you know, and you can see it on my laptop basically it's like nothing too much. But for you, there should be a ton of processes, guys. You can see how much bytes a program is sending per second or also receiving. And of course, all the programs which have a high amount of bytes sent are the ones which are causing you packet loss or high ping in Fortnite or just overall increasing your ping as well in game or in other games. And you can see for me, it is right now here something like Battle.net as an example. It has 60 bytes per second. That's okay. Um, Agent is like my antivirus. It actually sends around 347 bytes per second, which is not too less. But yeah, I could, as an example now here, actually deactivate my antivirus on my PC if I really want to reduce it. But let's just say that we're going to open up here our Epic Games Launcher just as a test. I just want to know like how much it sends. You can already see, guys, now the Epic Web Helper is actually sending 31,000 bytes per second and is receiving quite a lot as well like 1.1k something like that so therefore if you have stuff like let's just say steam open in the background or geforce experience or google chrome all these processes always still send bytes per second in the background even though you're not using it guys so therefore please make sure that you check here in this app if there's like any um, programs which you can fully disable while gaming which you don't need yeah as mentioned on my pc here there's barely anything on there so i don't really have like any tools i could open here now in the background but yeah just make sure to check this always guys super super easy method and it will definitely reduce your ping and yeah guys in this next step now what i want you to do is click on the first link in the description guys because we're gonna need a very specific file with all the best network adapter settings here for windows 10 and windows 11 and once you're here on my website guys you're just simply going to click here on to input delay then you should get redirected and here on the top should be a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now again click onto it you should get redirected we're just simply going to scroll down until you can find this download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can download the following file here which is going to be called network pack season 3 guys and in that we first of all have flash dns but also network settings which is the more important one which we are straight up going to open now here guys and you can see here overview with all of the most important network adapter settings you should do on any pc yeah and i'm just going to show you exactly how to do it what you guys can do now in the first place is go here as well into your windows search bar and just simply type in network and then you can type in connections until you can see view network connection then you should be able here to see exactly all the connections on your pc and as you can see i'm here connected right now with an ethernet i have to probably like blur it out here but we're gonna right click onto it go into properties and then we should have a new window here so and once we're in our network properties now guys you can see here client for windows network just simply click onto it go here onto configure and then you should have a new window here with your realtek pc gb family controller where we're going to go into advanced and now that we have this list here opened on our pc we can completely copy everything so first of all rrp offload we actually have to put onto disabled in the first place the next up we have something like energy efficiency ethernet which we also have to put onto disabled flow control next up we have here which we're also going to put onto disabled interrupt moderation which should be here a little bit down there there we got it uh, we actually have to put on disabled as well ipv4 checksum offload is the next one let me actually see here where it is there it is actually <laughs> straight up underneath we also got to put on the disabled jumbo frame is the next one here which we also have to put onto disabled the next up guys we have maximum number of queues and there it says already um select four if your cpu has four or more cores so therefore yeah this is definitely here for me as well since i'm running here ryzen 9 guys i should put it on four if you have two cores you gotta put it on two you know um then next up we have network address which we should put on not present okay we also have that as well gonna put here on our offload on disabled receive buffers 
should be here we're actually going to put on 1024 and next up we have received site scaling which we are going to put onto enabled which it is already shut down wake up which should be here somewhere you know some settings might not be um, the same for everyone guys since yeah it makes actually a difference which type of like LAN adapter you're running in your PC um, what type of laptop you're running what type of PC it all makes a difference guys so therefore don't be worried if there's some options which you don't have straight up on your PC as well speed duplex we gotta put on the highest possible guys which is a hundred megabytes you know just simply put it on there so we make sure that it actually can utilize maximum internet speed then next up we have tcp checksum offload um, which we are going to put onto disabled here then we also have transmit buffers which we are going to put on 1024 as well and next up wake up on magic packet we actually have to put onto disabled and wake up on pattern match we actually also have to put onto disabled guys and this is it you now have fully here the best network settings already on your pc so we're going to click here onto ok guys um actually close this here and now we have to restart our pc real quick and then we continue with the next step And here guys, once we're in game now, we can first of all here try out our zero ping guys. And as you can see guys, once we're actually here in game, you can see already that my ping is super super low. Like I'm on straight up zero ping. And yeah guys, as you can see now, right now here in-game, after all the network adapter settings, we are now on straight up zero ping, but there's actually some more stuff which you can also do here in your Fortnite itself. And especially here under the last category, account and privacy, you really want to make sure that you disable anything which is not necessarily while playing. Something like, I don't know, um, show season level and feed, hide other player names. Um, stuff like hide your linked account names you know you could theoretically also disable your social notifications you can disable pretty much like anything where you know that you don't need it because all these processes are also linked to some sort of like process on your windows they all as well send and receive bytes guys just as i showed you previously in the beginning of the video so therefore make sure to actually disable as much as you can um which can just help you out to actually lower your ping and once we also here in our game settings please make sure that you actually put it on the region where you're from guys because if you put it on auto it might actually connect you like with a more stable server which might be though further away which will also result in higher ping and since you guys are actually trying to get like the lowest ping possible this is something you should do a hundred percent and you can see right now guys how buttery smooth my game is like i literally don't have any extra latency i can just go through anything and yeah it just works <laughs> And it just works, that's like the best way to put it. And for the final step guys, we now also have flush DNS, which are like some of the most important comments you should do once in a while with your router, just to make sure that you flush all the DNS cache, which is already taken up in your router, you know. There's like always temporary data in your router, which can actually increase your ping and slow down your internet. So therefore what we're going to do is type in CMD into our search bar, go here onto command prompt, run it as an administrator, click onto yes. And then we're going to copy all of these comments here one by one into our cmd guys it's super super easy click it and there you can now see windows ip configuration successfully flush the dns resolver cache now we're going to go onto ip config register dns so we get like a new one and you're just simply going to post all of these comments here step by step guys into the cmd once it's done and then you can restart your pc and you should be good to go and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would happen so you so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace